Good day students, welcome to mathgutserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over number two in part one of our limits component of calculus ABBC. This problem corresponds to question number three of the 2008 AP Calculus multiple choice um, exam release test item. All right, so let's take a look at the question. It reads the function f is defined above. So this is the function right here. I moved it downwards. Uh, for what value of k if any is f continuous at x equals 2? Okay, so before we solve the problem, let's do a real quick review on continuity. What does, what does it mean for a function <clears throat> to be continuous? So what does continuous mean? Uh, so let's do a real quick review on that. Um, a function f, f is continuous at, uh, let's say, some c value, okay, if three conditions hold, okay? Condition number one is that the left-hand limit, left-hand limit at c has to be, um, has to be equal to the value of the function at C, and it has to be equal to the right-hand limit at C. All these three have to be the same in order for the limit to, I'm sorry, in order for the function to be continuous at C, okay? So this is just a verbal description. Symbolically, how, how do you um, express this idea, this e equation right here? Um, you just simply say the left-hand limit is the limit as x approaches um, c from the left of the function. So whatever you get here has to be equal to the value of the function, which is f evaluated at c. And that has to equal to the right-hand limit, which is a limit as x approaches. So minus is from the left plus is from the right, okay, of the function. So these three have to be the same in order for a function to be continuous, all right? Now let's let's represent this idea um, graphically so that we make sure you, you really understand what's going on here. So let's say we have a number line. <clears throat> let's make it blue um, so that it matches um, these ones right here. Okay, so let's say this is C right here, okay? So this is at C. So what does it mean for um, a function to be continuous at C? So we go to the left, we go to the right, and then we also evaluate at the point, okay? So um, graphically speaking, uh, this side right here, this is the left-hand limit. Okay, when you're approaching from this point, that's the left-hand limit. Let's go ahead and write it. I'm going to go ahead and write it down. So this part right here is your left-hand limit and is the limit um, the limit as x approaches c from the left of the function, okay? Because when you're approaching from this side, you're approaching c from the left, okay? And then at this point right here, what is this? This is the value as the value of the function, and that is known as f of c. So at that point, what is the value of the function? Okay, that's the middle part. And then over here, when you're approaching c from the right side, that is the right-hand limit, okay? So from the right side, this is your, let's put it down here, right-hand limit. Uh, symbolically, is the limit as x approaches c from the right of the function. So these three have to line up, have to be equal um, in order for the function to be continuous at C, okay? All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing here. <clears throat> now let's look at the question. Now what you notice here is that we have only two equations. The value of the function has been combined with the left-hand limit because of this um, inclusion line here in our inequality symbol. So let's do this point we're combined with that one. So the left-hand limit and the value of the function are going to be the same, okay? So when you're solving limits involving um, piecewise defined functions, 
it's always beneficial to give yourself a visual okay just draw a number line and um, make sure you're assigning the right functions to the right intervals the c value we're looking at here is where the break happens so this is the c value that we're going to be considering okay c equals two so we're going to look at the left hand side of two the value of two and the right hand side of two okay since the left hand and the value of two are combined we're going to draw a closed circle and everything to the left which represents the left hand limit okay all right so that will represent um <clears throat> this is for this the function that's active here let's go ahead and write it down is f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 9. Why is that? Well, because um, x is less than or equal to 2 on this interval. Okay, and in, also know that in this case, when you're approaching 2 from here, that's 2 from the left. Okay, and then uh, from the right side, excluding 2, the function that's active is the one on the bottom, which is k plus 1. All right, so this is k plus 1. I'm sorry, kx plus 1. kx plus 1 is active when um, x is greater than 2. So let's put that in there, kx plus 1. Because x is uh, greater than 2 in this interval. And then when you're approaching, you're approaching 2 from the right. Okay, so we're good to go. Now, to um, solve this problem, we just have to find the left-hand limit first. So let's find the left-hand limit <coughs> at um, 2. So what is that? The left-hand limit at 2 is the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of the piecewise defined function. So when you're approaching 2 from the left, this is a function we're going to look at. So it's basically going to become the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of x squared minus 3x plus 9. And then you plug in 2 into that, and then you get, um, let's see, what do we get? We have 2, two squared minus 3 times 2 plus 9. And then when you apply your order of operations here, you have 4. Um, minus 6 plus 9, which gives us positive 7. Okay, so if you take a look at the answers, you have you have a 7 there. Okay, so is that your answer? The answer is no. Okay, you're asked to find the value of k that makes the function continuous. What we just found is the left-hand limit and the value of the function. Okay. We haven't found the value of k that makes this function continuous, so you have to be really careful. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we want to look for the value of the function at 2. What on earth is that? That's what's, what's the output when x equals 2, okay? Um, so we're looking for <coughs> f of 2. f of 2 is just the same as this piece right here, right? So f of 2 is what you get when you plug in 2 into the function which is 7. Remember the value of the function is the same thing as the left hand limit. Now how about the right hand limit? Um, at 2. That's going to be the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of the function. In this case we are going to be looking at this function right here, kx plus 1. So we're going to be evaluating the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of kx plus 1. Okay, so evaluate this by direct substitution. So we're going to have k times 2 plus 1, which is equal to um, 2k plus 1. Now, since the function is continuous, well, we we'll want to make it continuous at x equals 2. What can we do here? In order for it to be continuous, then these three must be equal to each other. Okay? The left, remember we talked about this earlier, the left hand limit has to be equal to the value, and then it has to be equal to the right hand limit. 
The left element and the value are already the same, so we know 7, they're both equal to 7, has to be equal to 2k plus 1. So whatever the solution to this equation is, that is the k value that makes our function continuous, all right? So we can do this in two steps, subtract 1 from both sides, 2k equals 6, divide by 2k equals 3, and there goes your final answer, all right? So our answer is option letter C.